Oprah was so inspired by a CBS News story on a high school principal in New Jersey that's changing a student's lives that she decided to help in a very big way. Earlier this year, we introduced you to New Jersey principal, that's Akbar Cook. He started the Lights On program at Westside High School in Newark to give students somewhere safe to hang out on Friday nights. Well, last Friday, Oprah, Evan Whitfrey, there she is, showed up with a half a million dollar donation and pizza from her, oh, that's good line. The crust is made of cauliflower, by the way. Oprah wants to keep it healthy. I was there for the very exciting announcement, and so was our lead national correspondent, David Begno. Oprah Winfrey! Oprah brought that star power. But, oh, there was so much more to come. The students didn't know Oprah was coming, but Principal Akbar Cook did. What he didn't know was what else Oprah wanted to give. I'm going to leave here tonight and leave you with a half a million dollars. The media mogul was inspired to get involved with the school's Lights On initiative after she saw a CBS Evening News report back in March. Westside High School opens every Friday night from 6 to 11 for kids who use the school's gym to play games and eat food. In the summer, it's open three nights a week. Principal Cook showed us five commercial-grade washers and dryers that he installed so students who can't wash their clothes at home can do it at school. You got two star athletes for me. Davion is a freshman. Anthony is a junior. Why do you choose well, to be here? I play for the basketball team, so you know, I like playing basketball a lot. Like, yeah. know, that's my favorite sport. So I come here and I play basketball from 6 to 10, 6 to 10 o'clock, and then I go home. Until so the eat, lights go out. Yeah, I eat, you know. <laughs> Oprah's $500,000 donation means that Westside will keep the lights on all summer. For Principal Cook, Oprah's gift felt like an act of love. Love is powerful. You can underestimate the power of love. And, and this is what everyone has been showing. They've been showing my kids and, and, and me and, and this community that they, they love them, and, and that's going a long way. What's the lesson for us watching what you did? How well, we the, the, the lesson is that every day there's a story that yeah. you can do something about. Today I actually did something. Did you ever think you'd meet Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> Not today in the parking lot, no. <laughs> Westside High School Principal Akbar Cook joins us at the table. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So I remember when Oprah saw that story and saw you in particular and said, I really like that guy. How do I get in touch with that guy? You knew it was coming, but were you still, did you still have doubts up until the last minute? Yes, you never know. I mean, coming from the city, just getting back and forth is a, is a, is a task in itself. And it was 5 o'clock and still no Oprah. No. And then it was 7 o'clock and still no Oprah. I know, because <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. The traffic, Mr. Cook, was so bad that Oprah Oprah said, well, this is fine. I'm just going to sit here zen with my thoughts. When we were in the car an hour and a half later, she goes, how much longer is it going to get there? Because traffic was so bad. Yeah, but would you talk about the difference it makes when kids know and see that somebody cares? We, when, when we got the West Side, it was like the Bermuda Triangle. Stuff went in and didn't come out. Mm -hmm. And we just started being consistent and just started doing it with love. And you could see the change. And now, even from even the love that Oprah gave and the other uh, people from out the world, my kids feel a sense of pride now. And it's making them want to be that, 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 that superstar student and successful citizen that we want them to be. And it's just all because of love, just being consistent and just sticking with it. And, and most times, they didn't have anyone. Mm -hmm. So now you all are championing them, and they, and they feel it. You're going on the fourth year with the Lights On program? Yes, this will be our fourth summer having Lights On wow. at the school. Fair to say it's been a lifesaver for some kids? Absolutely. We opened it up because I had lost three kids to gun violence. And since we opened it up during the school year, I haven't lost any more kids. Was there wow. any resistance from kids about this, or did, did they come right away? It didn't come right away. It took, it took you, you have to build trust. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when we first started off, it just was basketballs and jump ropes. And, yeah. and we had to, you know, you know do an un unpack and, and really dig, dig deep. And we realized that we needed to do more things for the young ladies. And once we started doing that, the guys The guys can't. The guys can't. <laughs> principals reached out to you to say, hey, how do you do this? Yes. Yeah, How's so, it going? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the big thing is uh, we, I, we're going to be out in L.A. Uh, at a school in Watts and uh, Yale University contacted me. They want to do it wow. in New Haven, Connecticut, and then Las Vegas, I think, has 300,000 students. So we're working with Clark County. So, uh, yes, principals have been reaching out, and I'm trying to take the show on the road because how dare I sit on something this awesome and not share it with the world? You know, it occurs to me that you, your story is the second time we've had a wealthy uh, donor generously yes, exactly. make a gift yes. to a school. What's going on with schools today? What, what, what do politicians not get or leaders not get that is creating this problem where you need someone to, to, to give you something to make your, your school work? 
I just think that we're, we're all thinking that parents are there, and it's not. We have to be the parent. We have to be the social worker. We have to be the guidance counselor. Mm -hmm. So throwing resources in schools are, 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 are giving it to the kids right where they need it most. And yeah. basic needs, how can I come to school if I'm not clean? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't, I didn't brush my teeth. Like, how? Yeah. So we have to stop thinking about the other stuff and get back to the basic needs and start taking care of math. We, we mentioned that you put in washing machines. How effective that has that been in making kids come to school? Listen, my freshmen, I can't keep them home. I have my freshmen are like 94% average daily attendance, and my yeah. sophomores are battling with them now, like 94. So I say look at my younger students. My seniors are still senioritis. You know, they <laughs> yeah. the day, I remember. But, yes. but the babies are coming But, to Anthony, school. you make a very good point. I would have not, never thought that washers and dryers would make a difference, and yeah. I love that you call them your babies, too. Yeah. Yeah. So with Oprah's money, what will that do for your program now? Allow you to do what? Wow. So I can expand. I, I still need to do more. Uh, just restorative things with the kids. Like, yes, it's recreational, but if I can give them some educational resources and, and just show them some life skills and soft skills so they can be more employable to employers, yeah. just anything I can to make them successful and not just, I know we all want to send the kids straight to college, but sometimes these kids can't. They need to go right to the workforce and yes. support yeah. their siblings and their own children. I love it. It's a great story. She Principal. was thrilled to do it. And the pizza was good, too. <laughs> oh, that's was, good. Yeah, that's oh, forever. that's good. <laughs> Made with cauliflower, I heard. Yes. 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 Cauliflower crust. Yeah. Principal Akbar, thank you very much for joining us. We thank you, Josh, it. for having me. Best thank of luck. You. Thank you.